Hi everyone, my name is Laura. Today I'll be showing you how to play hot cross buns on the violin. Because if you don't, like, on the violin, if you don't know how to play hot cross buns on the violin, this is a perfect video for you to come here and learn how to play hot cross buns. But if you don't want, if you don't have the bow yet, you, I'll, I'll be showing you how to pluck and use the bow. So I hope you enjoy, but if you don't, but if you don't really want to play, you can just, if you don't want to learn all that, you can just listen if you would like, because this would be the perfect video for you. So, um, okay, I'll be doing the plucking first, so you can get your fingers already. So, you don't need your bar for now, if you don't have it. You're gonna, it's much easier if you use your thumb and put it on the black and then you can use that. But we're gonna just use D. So put your pointer finger on this string on the D. The D should be right there, next to G. You should know because because there's this writing down here that's I, A, D, and then G. So. You would go on G, put your finger, your point finger and your middle on two stickers. The, the pointer there and the middle there. So and then you would do it one time like this. And then take the middle finger off. And then you would take that off. And then you would do it again. One a penny is easy. No fingers then. One a penny. And then uh, when it says one a penny, then you go and put your pointer finger right there. Two a penny. And then four cross buns. Uh, so if you know how to do it, that if you now understand, you can use your bar. Just do the same things, but no, but this time you're not going to be plucking. You better, you're going to be using the bar. And do the same thing. gets mixed up so I try again all the time when I was doing it the first time I was showing my whole classroom and I was doing whole cross buns and I was doing this so I was just moving the one and then another one I wasn't going long enough see this is how I was doing it what I was doing. It didn't sound like I was gonna do it, but I didn't know how to. So make a mis if you make a mistake, it's okay. You can do it again. So I want to see, right? and now you can do it. did it and I didn't feel embarrassed because I just made a mistake. A mistake is a mistake. I will actually now be showing you some of the bases of a violin actually. So if you know already, I told you what the strings are. If you forgot, there is, this is E right there. The most highest. A is the second highest. And D is not the highest. It's the lowest. It's low. It's not the lowest. G is the lowest. 
So G is the lowest. I'll be showing you right now how it goes on the violin. On the bar, actually. It's a squeaky one. And it's A. D. And D. They're kind of low. G G's the lowest, yeah. It's just to make things a little bit more comfier when you're on the violin. So it's easy to put on. It's just like you put it on a smiley face. So the bigger worries, see this? That's a freck. That's a freck. And you want to put the bigger thing with the freck, like next to it almost. And then the smallest down there, like a smiley face. See that smiley face? That's what you, you, you should be doing. Smiling! So, hot cross buns is the most easiest for me because that's the only song I know how to do.